know, we had a, we had a big meeting yesterday. It's all about morale around here and everything. And I think our show is really like we've hit our stride. We got good morale. Everybody's happy. Everybody's looking forward to come in and, and all this other stuff. And don't you don't you feel that way? I, I mean, sure, and I you're do. You're a big I, guy on morale. I didn't realize this, but you you yourself are a big guy on morale. Like you want everybody to be happy, to be excited, to be on the number one sports talk radio program in the country. You want you want everybody. To feel a sense of pride with this radio station. I do, and I grew up in this radio station. I you did. were an intern at this I radio did, station. Yes, it's all I ever wanted yourself. to do. You ascended to the power chair, right? And not only that, you're a big shot now. Well, I'm not a big shot. Well, you are but a yeah, big I, shot. I, I take a lot of pride in, in what happens here. I do. And, I mean, and I noticed that yesterday. I'm not going to, you know, we had a meeting yesterday after work, and I was listening to Gio talk about it. I was like, I was really happy with the things that he was saying. Well, thanks. Look, I mean, I have WFAN on my keychain. Hey, yeah, still. You, you were in that meeting, right? I was in there, yeah. Right. I was not invited. To yeah, I don't know well, why. Well, you were invited. You didn't come down. I, don't I was not invited. Oh, okay. Well, I, I had nothing to do with the invitation. So no, I know that, sir. Yeah, and Gio's a big fan of everybody wants every, well, almost everybody. Super Z! Yeah. <laughs> well, but the point being is that... Uh, you never once brought up the loss column yesterday. And now all of a sudden this morning, that guy that wants like all, everybody to be happy and to take pride in their jobs and their work and love this whole place, you bring up the loss column yeah. in April. Well, I don't see the connection between morale around here and the Yankees and the loss column personally. I'm just trying to say that seven sounds worse than six and a half. It does. Seven games out. So, I mean, six and a half sounds bad. Seven games? I'm with Jim, man. Talk to me in September.